Rorty ho! Oh, what a mission that was! Well, we left uh, the little boat there, we were paddling away. Feeling a bit this morning. Oh. Um, we were only going to drive 179 k's to a little uh, bridge in Willa, Willa, Willa Air, I think it was. Um, but when we got to the gate, there was uh, daytime camping only. So obviously, you've got to respect landowners and things there. That's what they want. So yeah, my probably, probably a bit of my goof not reading on. So um, we we're going to go um, off to the next park, our next uh, parking spot, and. Uh, Jude got online and says, oh, there's this little old campsite here, not far away. So, yeah, okay, I'll see whether you can get a spot in. So, of course, everything's pretty heavily booked around here in Broome. And um, we wanted a couple of extra days before we book into where we are booked. But anyway, she found this one here, under 40 bucks a night. There's no power. You've got to be powered yourself. Um, but there's water, which is nice. Um, and there was room, so... Um, we jumped in and thought, well, there's wash machines, so obviously we're pretty dusty and dirty after the last couple of days. So I think all in all we're about um, 38 k's from Broome. So um, yeah, you could do a day trip in the Broome from here if you want. So yeah, that was uh, Roebuck, um, Broome's Gateway, Pet Caravan Park. So uh, washing's done, van's clean of dust, time to wash the inside of the old throw here at. Rorty ho, we're on our way from the Broome Gateway pet friendly motor park. Hey, you didn't see much from the time we arrived and the time we're leaving, mainly because it was just cleaning this and scrubbing that, and vacuuming that, and doing some washing. So, but it was a great place to relax. Peace and quiet. Um, it got no power, so obviously the generators are all going now. But, Everybody all respected everybody, so yep, cannot fault it. Good spot. So we're going to toodle on down. We've got our spot now in um, Broome, of where all the action was going to be happening. So uh, we're on our way to there. We have made it to the holiday park. Got our little fan all set up. Good roomy site there too, actually. Trailer, morning, and uh, good water pressure. We're in the older part, the newer part up there is still um, under construction, but great swimming pool and sites. Um, nice, but being the old part though, we've got a bit of green grass, which is good, and we've got uh, some lovely shady, as you can see, lovely shady established trees, and we're three back from the, um, the beach. So, we're going to go and walk the beach now, we're going to go towards Broome and see what it's all about. Just a few meters from our caravan, we've got this wonderful view. Tide looks like it's coming in at the moment. Poor bloke in a boat's got a bit of a walk. Uh, Croc Jetty, I believe. And there's some swimming can be done off of it. Uh, I'm fishing. We have to have a lot of line to fish today at this time of the morning. And uh, this is the corner of the park. Now, uh, where we're staying, and there's a public area down here. So, yeah, we'll continue on walking. So, just at the entrance to uh, Croc Jetty, there's this little memorial. Nine zeros, nine stories. So, uh, obviously, uh, evidence from nine people seeing the uh, Catalina, Catalina, Catalinas, the uh, planes that were um, shot at. I think there's one about. Um, it says here that it's uh, one about two k's out. But I believe you can still go out and see um, in low tide. We will probably go and have a look at that croc jetty when the tide's up, or maybe catch it with a sunrise or a sunset. Anyway, on it's quite a great park. So yeah, behind me we're on a. Um, a large breakwater here that's been set up obviously um, when the, uh, the wet season's here and you get your storms and things. This breakwater is uh, designed to protect what is a fantastic uh, 
area back here. I think over this area here, there's a bunches of um, little raised um, seats, glass seats and things there. I saw a little sign there that said stair staircase to the moon. So I guess when the moon's in that phase over here, we've missed it sadly. And down the bottom there, you've got these, um, these staircases going down, which still gives you the ability to walk among the mangroves down there. Some footprints and you get to experience some mangroves. So yeah, top effort. Oh, on our travels, come across a uh, bronze statue here, um, commemorating the uh, pearl divers. So I think a lot of them were women, a lot of them were indigenous way back then and um, yeah, this bay has been selected, it's Roebuck Bay and uh, it's a beautiful bay, um, it's obviously they use that bay for some of the pearls and then it's got the moon and uh, this is where uh, the camp, a lot of the camp was that was set up for the, uh, the pearl farming and the trade and all that sort of stuff that took place in the room here. Moving along. Good stuff. We just happened to pass. Oh, excuse me. We just happened to pass the Matso Broom Brewery. One of the uh, recommended spots to be. Not a soul here right now, but that's because they're only just opening up. So we uh, are going past. So how about a, uh, a booking? And uh, we'll be back around about two o'clock, two thirty actually. See what, uh, see what this is all about. Matzo. So we're doing pretty well in the heat. Oh man, it's sticky. I think it's due to get up about 28 degrees today. And uh, humidity's uh, rather up there. So yeah, Roebuck Bay Lookout up here. Look out, some of the artwork on it. It looks really neat on the roof there if you can make that out commissioned by uh, some of the local kids. So you can go up and have a look from the lookout and see what we can see. There you go, just as I said earlier, the artwork on the above shade structure was created by uh, Yululu at the Prune Senior High School. And this, oh, you can see it better from the bottom. So we'll, a good view of uh, Roebuck Bay, is it? There we go. That's sort of like the top of town broom. Go past this beam here. Way out into the mangrove swamps. We're, um, we're just walking into town. We're into town now. We're just walking into town, we're into town now. This is Pearl Alley, I tell you. Obviously the place is built on pearls. And another really nice little place is this little stop in here. Look at these, look at these trees. They're beautiful. Well, it's trees, it's more a creeper or a vine, but definitely adds a nice degree of shade around this place, which is gratefully received in this heat. So, just having a walk along Streeter's Jetty, way back in the late 1800s. I'll check the sign back there. 1875 or something it was. This jetty, it's one of the oldest jetties still in existence or something for the, uh, the trade of pearls that used to come from the bay out this way. Oh, Judy's found an orange crab in here somewhere. You probably have to zoom this up, but yeah, I can see them all now. All, all the beautiful coloured crabs. My giddy end. Look at that one down there. He's got big. Look at what one oh. down there. Jeez, this place must come alive. So yeah, this is the end of the jetty. So yeah, back back to the story. Yeah, obviously pearl farmers that come into town here, use this jetty to do their trade, and then go back out and do their works. So yeah, there we are from town. So yeah, they come in, jetty, and then uh, into town, and then on, onwards to uh, the trade. So a quick run down there, even though my uh, the shade in the sun's probably pretty bad there, but it looks like that the, it says there it's known Dreda's jetty was 
in place by at least 1897. Now, well, one of the uh, spots I wanted to see was the historic Sun Theatre here in Broome. It's one of the oldest operating outdoor garden picture theatres. So I said to Jude, we'll have a look and see what's on, and if it's uh, anything that we haven't seen, we can hop on down. So it's open here. Apparently the planes fly over sometime. Just had a look on the board, sadly I think uh, Dominions or something where the crawdads are, but I really would have liked to have seen Top Gun, Maverick. And uh, it's open here so the planes fly over the top. One time the planes would have been given the right effects and not been a pain in the butt. Here we go inside the picture theatre. How amazing is that? You've still got the old deck chairs. You can sit back and relax lying on. You can be outside there. Great looking screen. Air conditioning. Wow. Talk about old school. <laughs> We're at Matzo's Broom Brewery, and uh, we just got our feed. We've been enjoying a uh, very nice dark and stormy, mm -hmm. but we've also enjoyed a nice um, cider, yep. an apple cider, and um, a mango um, beer, which went down very, very well. It's a bit cooler here in Broom. It's 28 degrees. Um, we've walked about over 10,000 steps, so we're feeling pretty ragged, as you can probably tell by the expression on my face. <laughs> but this is going to be quite nice. About uh, two o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, there we go, folks. Matt So Brewery. Tick done dusted. Oh, that was good, wasn't it? The beer, exceptional. We had the uh, with the cider and the mango beer. Yep. Delicious. Yep. And then we finished up with a nice dark and stormy. Oh, a jug of that. That went down real good. And um, the burger I had, the burger was yum, and you had this, obviously you well, loved Well, Dean and I shared the squid and the chicken wings. Yeah. Well, it was a bit hot though, but it was more -ish. I'm chocker blocker <laughs> So there you go, there's, a, there's our sign, Jude. We'll, we'll get a quick video there with the sign. Yeah? Coming! That's so, brewery in Broome. Look it up. Oh, what a day. What a way to end the day. Hopped out on the jetty. Croc jetty, I think it was. The town jetty. Plate rescuing his boat out there. No problems. And the sun going down over the other side's Cable Beach. That's the uh, caravan park we're staying at. Got a little. Uh, Guest singer uh, entertaining everybody today. So, yeah. There's the sun setting over Broome tonight. Day two, we're all charged up, ready to go. We're going to head uh, down towards the, uh, the, the wharf, the marina, and um, probably Cable Beach, and up to the there's another jetty. So, we're going to cycle and check it all out. Great morning for it. Oh, it was good to stretch the legs again. Um, so again, about 15, 20 minutes ride from the caravan park to the uh, the wharf or the port, or the jetty. Um, so here we just locked up the pipes back there, and there you go. Okay. Go down and have a look at these blokes down here doing some fishing. Down at the, uh, just off the, the wharf here. How's that watercolour? Jeez, it looks so inviting. So clear. I'm sure we'll spot some fish. I'll just jinx myself now, I suppose, but she sure looks nice. Yeah, I'm heading past where that boat's coming. If I think we go off to the right of that, we start heading up 
towards the Cable Beach. 